Our next topic is solution of the equation of motion for the damped oscillator. Okay. We studied the second order differential equation. That is x double dot plus gamma x dot plus omega 0 square x is equal to 0. We know x double dot is d square x by dt square, x dot is dx by dt. Okay, therefore, second order differential equation of damped harmonic oscillator is d square x by dt square plus gamma dx by dt plus omega 0 square x is equal to 0. Gamma is damping constant and omega 0 is the natural frequency. Okay. Here, gamma is equal to b by m and omega c 0 is equal to root k by m. We discussed it. Okay, then assume here we have to solve this equation. We have to solve this second order differential equation. For that, we assume the solution is x is equal to x0 e raised to alpha t. As solution of this equation, we get a displacement x of the damped harmonic oscillator. Let us assume the solution is x is equal to x0 e raised to alpha t. Okay. Then we differentiate this equation A with respect to time t. So we get dx by dt. dx by dt is equal to x0 is constant here. If we, differ, uh, if we differentiate e raised to alpha t, we get e raised to alpha t into derivative of alpha t that is alpha. Okay. So, dx by dt is alpha x0 e raised to alpha t. Okay, that is equation number b. Next, again we differentiating with respect to t. We differentiate dx by dt with respect to t again. Therefore, d by dt dx by dt is d square x by dt square. That is equal to alpha x0 is constant. If we differentiate e raised to alpha t with respect to t, we get alpha into e raised to alpha t. So, alpha x0 into alpha e raised to alpha t, alpha into alpha is equal to alpha square. So, we get alpha, alpha square x0 e raised to alpha t. d square x by dt square is equal to alpha square x0 e raised to alpha t. Now, we are substituting equations a, b and c in equation 1. Okay. Then, we get in place of the term d square x by dt square, we are substituting alpha square x0 e raised to alpha t. Okay. Therefore, first term is First term in the equation 1 becomes alpha square x0 e raised to alpha t plus gamma into dx by dt. From equation b, dx by dt is alpha x0 e raised to alpha t. We are substituting that. Therefore, plus gamma into alpha x0 e raised to alpha t plus omega 0 square x is the third term. Omega 0 square. From equation a, x is equal to x0 e raised to alpha t. We are substituting that. Therefore, omega 0 square x, x 0 e raised to alpha t is equal to 0. Therefore, our equation become alpha square x 0 e raised to alpha t plus gamma alpha x 0 e raised to alpha t plus omega 0 square x 0 e raised to alpha t is equal to 0. Okay. x 0 e raised to alpha t is common in these three terms. Okay. Therefore, it can be taken outside x 0 e raised to alpha t. Remaining part of the part in the first term is alpha square therefore alpha square plus remaining part in the second term is gamma alpha gamma alpha plus remaining part in the third term is omega 0 square omega 0 square that is equal to 0 therefore we get x 0 e raised to alpha t into ga alpha square plus gamma alpha plus omega 0 square is equal to 0 okay here x 0 e raised to alpha t never be 0 on right hand side we get 0 x0 e raised to alpha t never be 0. Therefore, the term alpha square plus gamma alpha plus omega 0 square must be equal to 0. Only then we get this uh, 0 on right hand side. So, alpha square plus gamma alpha plus omega 0 is equal to 0 here. Okay. We can solve this to find a alpha. Okay. There are two solutions are obtained here. Okay, we can apply alpha is equal to, uh, we can apply minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a in order to find the solution of this equation. Okay, so we get a here in place of uh, b gamma and in place of c omega 0 square. So, we, are, we get minus b minus gamma plus or minus, first we consider solution consisting plus term. 
Therefore, minus gamma plus root of b square, gamma square, minus 4ac, 4 into a is 1 here. Coefficient of alpha square is 1. Therefore, a is 1, 4 into 1 into c omega 0 square. 4 into 1 into omega 0 square, that is 4 omega 0 square. Minus gamma plus square root of gamma square minus 4 omega square by 2a. Minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here a is 1. Therefore, 2 into 1, that is equal to 2. Therefore, first solution is alpha 1 is equal to minus gamma plus root gamma square minus 4 omega 0 square by 2. And the second solution is minus b minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Second solution is alpha 2 is equal to minus gamma minus square root of gamma square minus 4 omega 0 square by 2. Okay. Then minus gamma by 2, that is minus gamma by 2 plus square root of gamma square 2 can be written as root 4 root 4 okay therefore we get uh, square root of gamma square by 4 minus 4 omega 0 square by root 4 that is omega 0 square 4 4 cancel therefore we get omega 0 square therefore alpha 1 is equal to minus gamma by 2 plus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square. Similarly, we get alpha 2 is equal to minus gamma by 2 minus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square. We get alpha 1 is equal to minus gamma by 2 plus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square and alpha 2 is equal to minus gamma by 2 minus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square here. Okay. Therefore, our differential equation is satisfied by two values of x. Those values are x1 and x2. x1 is given by x1 is equal to x0 e raised to alpha 1 t. Okay. We substitute the value of alpha 1 here. Therefore, our x1 becomes x0 e raised to minus gamma by 2 plus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square into t. Okay. Then second value of x satisfied by our differential equation is x2 is equal to x0 e raised to alpha 2t. Okay. We substitute the value of alpha 2 here. Therefore, x2 is equal to x0 e raised to minus gamma by 2 minus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square t. Okay. x is the combination of two terms consisting these x1 and x2. Linear combination of two terms consisting x1 and x2. Those terms are c1 x1 and c2 x2. Okay. Therefore, our solution of differential equation x becomes x is equal to c1 x1 plus c2 x2. Okay. We substitute equation 3 and 4 here. Therefore, we get x is equal to c1 x0 e raised to minus gamma by 2 plus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square t plus c2 x0 e raised to minus gamma by 2 minus square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square t. Okay. It is the solution of the second order differential equation of damped harmonic oscillator. Okay. Now, we can consider three cases here. First case is, if gamma by 2 is greater than omega 0, if gamma by 2 is greater than omega 0, then the term we, con we consider, the we check the term in the square root. That term is square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square. If gamma by 2 greater than omega 0, it will be a uh, positive quantity will come in inside the square root. Uh, the result will be a real number. Okay. Then square root of gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square. Gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 is omega 0 square is positive. Therefore, it will be a real quantity. This is over damped case. This case is known as over damped case. Okay. O harmonic oscillator is known as over damped harmonic oscillator. Okay, then if gamma by 2 is equal to omega 0 square, the term inside the square root will be c equal to 0 because gamma by 2 is equal to omega 0. Therefore, gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square is equal to 0. This case is known as critically damped case. Okay, then if gamma by 2 less than omega 0, then gamma square by 4 minus omega 0 square, gamma by 2 greater, gamma by 2 less than omega 0. Therefore, gamma square by 4 also less than omega 0 square. Therefore, the term uh, in the square root will be negative. Okay. If negative term come inside square root 
answer will be imaginary okay it consists it is it will be a com complex number or it, it is an imaginary number this case is known as under damped case we have to explain these three cases in detail over damped case critical damped case and under damped case okay that will be discussed in the upcoming video thank you friends